Hey, Drew here. I just wanted to make a follow-up video to my uh, range test that I did the other day with uh, this gun. I'm calling it the Burgess uh, Top Brake Revolver for the moment. I want to think of a catchier and funnier name, but uh, nothing's come to me yet. Uh, so here we are. I wanted to give you guys a closer look at what it is. So one of the things you might notice is it's got a metal cylinder. It's got a metal barrel because I do not trust a 3D printed uh, plastic barrel and cylinder alone to, uh, to hold the pressure. And by making using a metal cylinder, I can make the gun a lot smaller because um, you see some 3D printed revolvers out there and a cylinder ends up being quite large because uh, the, uh, you got the plastic and then you have the metal inserts to handle the pressure. So by just straight up using a metal cylinder, I think I came up with a, a slimmer gun. I mean, it's still brick, but I think I can trim it down a little bit more uh, in the future. I'm still working on the design because it did break um, when I tested it for the first time. So uh, I think I'll get there, but yeah, just want to show you its features. So right off the bat, um, you got double action and single action. So double action, you right there, and then single action like that. And that works pretty good. It rotates the cylinder, which is nice. And then it's got uh, <clears throat> some iron sights right there, and that are printed into the so the fronts printed into the, the what I call the upper portion of the frame. And then the back is uh, this little plate that bolts on here. This also acts as the cylinder retainer that holds the cylinder in when you reload it. All right, and then uh, I got a Picatinny rails on the top and the bottom, so you can. Put an accessory or a dot sight or a scope on it and uh, so i think because it's 3d printed i figured yeah why not uh, you know let's add more features as uh whenever you're making something and you're like hey do we need more features the answer is yes um so uh also this is the latch that holds the uh the top brake it's spring loaded um, and then you pull it back and it disengages the, uh, little catch right here, these little forks, and then you can open it up and, and then it, it pushes out that plunger. And then when you get to 90 degrees, it will snap shut and that'll drop the casings out and you can reload it. If you have a speed loader, you just slam it home, slam it back, you're good to go. And to my mind, I think that's, I feel like that's a lot faster than a swing out uh, revolver. Um, but I mean, it all comes down to just practice and getting that muscle memory for the reload because you watch some of those uh, professional shooters out there and they're reloading revolvers and they do it like crazy fast. I go to the range and I feel like Elmer Fudd or uh, Gomer Pyle or something just really slow. <laughs> but again, practice and I think I get better at it. So you do that and uh, drop your rounds. And I got some, some empties to show you, empty shell casings. So you uh, put your rounds in, it takes six shots. Uh, I might try and do one uh, later down the road that can, with an eight round cylinder, uh, chambered in 357, um, that also shoots 38. Is, uh, my, I think my ultimate goal is to get a 357 top break because I think that'd be awesome. And there you go. So there's your rounds. You drop it, and you're good to go. You, you can shoot it a few times. Pop, pop, pop. And you go to reload. <clears throat> pull it back, and it pulls the casings. Now, if you're at the range and you don't feel like chasing your casings down, chasing your casings. That should be a t-shirt. You can shake it out that way. And it's a nice thing about revolvers that I own you just uh, go and plinking. It's easy to clean your, your brass. But if you're in a hurry, you can do it a little bit faster. And uh, like, and you probably want to let's see, home, pow pow, and then you. Oh, this is this is cool. Yeah. That's satisfying, and I have to pick up all those casings. This is like the sixth time I've done this video, so it's getting old. Um, yeah, so then you can 
get a speed loader or you, you can get this cut for a moon clip uh, i didn't do that because it cost another 150 bucks and i'm not quite there and i'm I've never used a moon clip before anyway, so I'm not sure if um, I'd prefer moon clips or speed loader, but <clears throat> right now the speed loader is a little cheaper because I don't have the get that milled out and I don't have the equipment in my garage to mill it. So there you go. So that's the, so yeah, that's, uh, I think that's everything. You know, I got some, you can swap out the grips if you want and make your own, customize them. I got a honeycomb going going on here. Um, I had a neighbor offer to make me some out of wood, and I thought that would look pretty sweet. So I'm, I think I'm going to take him up on that once I get the design finished. And yeah, so this is the top rake revolver. And uh, I hope to have it finished here uh, in the next few months, hopefully by the end of the year. And uh, yeah, then I might throw the uh, files online for everyone to enjoy. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day.